Welcome to Flutter Engage. Today is a key milestone for Flutter with the launch of Flutter 2. The big news in Flutter 2 is that we broadened Flutter from a mobile framework to a portable framework, unleashing your apps to run on a wide variety of different platforms with little or no change. You can think of Flutter 2 as a free upgrade for your app. With Flutter 2, your app can target four additional platforms, Windows, Mac OS, Linux, and the web. We asked our friends at GSkinner to create a demo app that spans all these platforms. We decided to build a scrapbooking app called Flutterfolio. So I'd like to invite you to visit flutter.gskinner.com where you'll find more info, source code, and links to the app. Ultimately, we were able to build an app that runs great and feels at home on three form factors, five OSs, and the web, while reusing over 95% of our code. Flutter isn't just being used outside Google. Over a thousand engineers inside the company are using Dart and Flutter to develop apps today. One of the largest apps from Google using Flutter is Google Pay. We decided to rewrite everything. We ended up with 35% smaller code base, 1.1 million lines compared to 1.7 million lines. And at the same time, our tech debt went down by 90% on a per engineer basis. Now, once the rewrite was done, we also found that our engineers were 20% more productive in terms of feature implemented because of the rewrite. We were able to take the iOS engineers and Android engineers and get 50% uh, engineering efficiency immediately because they were all working on the same thing. Phones come in so many different shapes and sizes. And one of the latest trends is foldable phones. One great example of this form factor is the Surface Duo from Microsoft. Today, we're happy to announce that we're collaborating with Google and bringing foldable support to Flutter. We're contributing code to enable Flutter apps to take advantage of these new opportunities with devices like the Surface Duo, but also enable it on other devices from manufacturers like Samsung and others. So let's talk about portability. Today, we're delighted to announce that Flutter's support for the web platform has hit the stable milestone. Now, the web has many strengths, including ubiquity and reach. So if you're building a Flutter app, you now get to reach users outside of app stores. And with the power of URLs, users across operating systems or device types could be directed to any part of your app, from links that are shared by friends, clicked on in search, from an email, from anywhere. I want to show you one example of the kind of app that shines really well on the web. iRobot is the company behind the popular Roomba robot vacuums, but they also have coding robots that empower the next generation of innovators. iRobot built their app with Flutter, and today they're launching the web version of their experience. So here you can see the app running in the browser using the same code as their tablet app. Today, we're delighted to announce that we're also opening up desktop to the stable channel of Flutter, enabled with an early release flag. This release lets you produce standalone executables for each platform, Mac OS, Linux, and Windows. On Linux, Canonical has been a fantastic partner. We not only enabled Flutter for Linux, we also worked with the Flutter team to publish the Flutter SDK as a snap in the Snap Store, the App Store for Linux. By publishing the Flutter SDK as a snap, we've made it very easy to install and set up your development environment to build mobile, web, and desktop apps with Flutter on Ubuntu. Flutter is the default choice for future desktop and mobile apps created by Canonical. There are even more screens out there beyond the kind of operating system that you might have on your phone or your PC. Toyota are building Flutter right into the heart of their core product. Today, we're excited to announce that Toyota is partnering with Flutter to bring a best-in-market digital experience to vehicles by building infotainment systems powered by Flutter. We see working with open source software as a positive investment towards our in-vehicle user experiences, and we look forward to playing a role in the open source Flutter community. Let's now go one level deeper and talk about Dart. I'm very happy to tell you that we have shipped null safety for Dart. So now the type system helps you eliminate null reference bugs. This is the biggest change to Dart since we added sound static types in Dart 2. With null safety, we didn't just add non-nullable types to the type system, we also added a slew of features like smarter flow analysis, late variables, and required named parameters so that your Dart code isn't just safe, but easy to write. Dart gives you more than most other languages with non-nullable types do. Null safety in Dart is sound. 
That means that when your program is fully migrated, the type system guarantees, like a mathematical proof, that no non-nullable expression can ever evaluate to null. A fast language is no use if you can't productively write code in it, so next, Kenzie's going to talk about developer tools. Now I know what you're thinking. Framework improvements are great and bring all sorts of new and improved functionality to you, but usually they also come with some breaking changes to your code. Well, fear not, because what we've also done as part of Flutter 2 is created a tool called Flutter Fix. This is a sample app that hasn't been updated in a couple years now. So now that I updated to Flutter 2, there are some analysis errors to address. You can see that it's using a couple deprecated APIs. So let's click on one of these warnings and see how we can solve the problem. I can see the deprecated member here, as well as the quick fix icon. And the quick fix option allows me to automatically migrate my code to the new API. So now I can see my code has been updated and the warnings have gone away. Our developer tools are another example of the unique flexibility of Flutter, built with Flutter, for Flutter, and integrated into whatever tool you're running. As of right now, there are over 15,000 packages for Flutter and Dart from big companies like Amazon, Microsoft, Adobe, Huawei, Alibaba, eBay, and Square. We're also today announcing a major update to our Flutter plugins for several core Firebase services. Authentication, Cloud Firestore, Cloud Functions, Cloud Messaging, Cloud Storage, and Crashlytics. We've updated all these packages to support sound null safety. But there's another major package we're releasing today. We're excited to announce an open beta for the Google Mobile Ads SDK for Flutter. This is a brand new plugin that provides inline banner and native ads in addition to the existing overlay formats. We've been piloting this plugin with some of our early customers in a private beta program. So Musica is one of them. We've had amazing metrics showing an increase of performance since we made the change. We saw a 350% increase on impressions with a 43% increase on CTR and 13% increase on our eCPM. The Google Mobile Ads SDK for Flutter is available today for you to download from pub.dev. Flutter is the first UI platform that is designed for an ambient computing world. And this vision is unique to Flutter, a portable toolkit for building beautiful, native, fast experiences wherever you might want to paint pixels on the screen.